Why should you choose one-on-one -on -one classes over group classes? Well, first of all, you have to understand the importance of quality time for a student. So for 45 minutes, a child gets undivided attention where they don't have to worry about what other kids are thinking. And all the love is being poured into your child for that entire time. That sends the message to the child that I am important and I can do this. And second of all, in group classes, no matter how great the teacher is at differentiating a lesson, there's no way that a child's class can be totally tailored to their needs. So for example, let's say I'm working with a child on short vowels and blending sounds, and they're doing amazing. So what I want to do is I want to level them up at that moment in that class. But if I have another child in the group, I may not be able to do that because let's say I'm working with that other student and I notice, yes, they're doing this great, but they're confusing some letters and we would need a drawing activity to help them differentiate the letters. As a teacher, I can't do both approaches, so I have to make a decision, right? If I make that decision, either one person will be bored or one person will be overwhelmed. That doesn't support both children at the same time. In a one-on-one -on -one class, this issue can be eliminated because I can tailor to that child's needs whenever I want, pivot whenever I want for every single class. This is what will create results and confidence for children in a very efficient way. So one-on-one -on -one classes may be more expensive at first to invest in, but long term, it might actually be less money because you don't have to spend as many classes for the rest of that child's life on tutoring. You might be able to get the results sooner because each class has more value in a one-on-one -on -one class. And the most important thing I want to add to all of this is your child has interests and has emotions. And in a one-on-one -on -one class, it's important that we can address these interests of theirs and apply that into the class. And if they're having a really bad day, then we can address those issues and talk about them in class. Why? Because we want them to see learning in school as enjoyable. And so if the, all of them are welcomed and we tell them we want to address all of who they are in their life, then they will feel like learning accepts who I am. Learning is all about me and I'm going to start loving to learn. And there you have it. One-on-one -on -one classes can give you the results for literacy, can build a child's confidence, and can bring joy to learning. If you want to know any more tips about reading and writing in a very inclusive and loving way for your child, follow and subscribe to All the Right Colors. Bye.